Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that'll make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 205, NASDAQ off 213, S&P's off 50. Gold, gold contract down $52.50, trading at 1878 an ounce. You get silver down $1.23 at 22.38. Light sweet crude off 268, $73.20 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note down one point plus five ticks at 114.12. The 30-year off to one point plus 23 ticks at 130.02. Remember, there's 32 ticks in one point in the bond market, folks. And King Dollar. King Dollar bottom line is on the move. That's what's going to basically choke this market. King Dollar right now is up 1,200 ticks, 102.950. The euro is at 108. The yen's at 131. The British pound is at 120 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Now, let's go take a look at the world of the uh, S&P first to see what we can figure out coming into this close here. We've had quite a day out here, man. Quite a couple of days, actually. I want to thank uh, Larry for doing my show. Uh, Tommy O'Brien was two years old, pretty wild. You're going to love it. Trains and trucks. I think he has, yeah, if I could show you a picture, Tommy should show you a picture. He has a room which is changing trucks. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So what we just did, we just made a round trip. And the first time, now this is going to get interesting. So it's the first leg off coming up, meaning that that started at 41 59 this morning. Okay, so futures were down big. They were down, we got all the way down to 41.32. Then you did a nice counter trend bounce and you got all the way up to 50 points, 41.94, and then gave it up in spades. And if you want to see something, man, and you really want to start understanding price and volume, like if you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see, uh, now this is my speculation, but we've been doing this long enough. See the same, it's the same seller that basically crushed this yesterday. And it's the same levels. That's what's amazing, man, okay? The bottom line is that the crush yesterday came down, you know, that was actually before the, no, it was right at, it was right at, you know, the two o'clock time frame, right? So it was 83,000 contracts. Well, the first time you get up there today, you got up there at 43, and then you tested that with 44. And then see, you don't want to be it. So this is going to get intriguing down here because what we actually just did, we actually just came into the strength, the bottom of that strength, when it bounced earlier today, was 41.39. Well, we just got down to 41.35. And the volume came up a little, nothing heavy. But I suspect what you're going to see here is that we are going to be basically selling off into the close, even though we already sold off. Now, the reason I'm saying that, let me go into the NQs for a second. Because what happens, and this is what, you really get to understand this is not a technical deal that I'm going to talk about right now, folks. What happens is this, is that when you're in front of a screen long enough and you day trade long enough, this is the typical day that because there was, see, first we were down, right? And then the market, man, just came back. And as the market comes back, you know, it just makes sense that people say, oh, hold it. It's going to be rejection. It's going to be rejection. So what you have here is that you have a lot of folks that are long right now. Because of the fact that this thing came, man, it, you know, bottom line is as soon as that opening bell hit, you know, within, you know, 20 minutes, this thing stock came all the way back. So what's happening, I suspect, is that you're going to have a lot of open positions at highs up here, you know, because then when a tank, the tank so fast. We'll see how it shakes out, but normally when that happens, what you're going to get, you're going to get more selling coming into the close. Gold. We'll take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold contract, bottom line. It's down with volume. You know, this, tech, this took, you know, basically three weeks. We're three weeks at highs, and that's even more dangerous, folks. That's, that's what happens 
when you're at highs and it's holding highs, you don't have any volume. Bottom line, I suspect this gold contract is going to come down as 1821. Right now, you're at 1878. You can see how fast it is. The gold, that's how gold moves, man. That's the bottom. There's nothing to stop this, you know, to basically to come back to where it took off from. And that's what I figured was going to happen. Notes and bonds, same type of setup inside the note and bond market. Bottom line is that you are down and you've got a huge expansion of volume. Um, you know, look at this, 2.3 million contracts in the 10-year. This is going to go to the end of the, the low end of the range right now. Lower end of the range on, th on this one, on the 10, is at uh, 111.28. Right now you're at 114. Uh, it hasn't broken, you know, bottom line, the lows that were established out here in the bond market going back to October 21st. I expect they will, but not on this first leg down. We go, uh, and then we go to King Dollar. So King Dollar, I mean, if we just do a dead cat bounce on King Dollar, let's see what we got here. So a normal dead, just a dead cat bounce on a daily will get King Dollar to 106.20. And <laughs> we go to 106.20, man. This is going to be a quick flush down on, you know, all the markets. Because when, when the dollar starts moving like this, get out of the way in just about any asset price. And if we go and we look at the oil contract, the yeah, oil contract, it's going to the blows and it might blow out these lows, man. So let's take a look. Because if the dollar goes as high as I think it's going to, it's going to blow out the lows. So the oil contract wants to make a run down to 70.56. You can see the expansion of volume. It's, uh, yeah, I could say this is interesting. So if it's an ABC down, 82, that's eight bucks. 70 bucks. There you go. You got an ABC down too. Seventy dollars. Now, which is so cool. Seventy dollars is the low of the consolidation that oil's already been in. So we'll see where it shakes out. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow's down 153. Nasdaq's off 191. S&P's off 41. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. There.